now coming to supraventricular arrhythmias here two mechanisms are there one is reentry mechanism another is a ectopic focke mechanism in case of reentry mechanism the pathway typically involves the av node perkinji and a accessory reentry pathway here the cycle self perpetuates because conduction occurs down one pathway and up other the first is the atrial impulse the premature atrial impulse enters the stow pathway and it is blocked at the fast pathway that is first part second is the impulse is antigradely conducted towards the slow pathway which is the up to which it is a normal sinus rhythm the ventricles are activated synchronously the impulse is now conducted retrogradely to the false pathway the impulse activates the atria retrogradely and reenters the slow pathway so a reentry pathway which was supposed to go like this it goes retrogradely and forms a reentry phenomenon in case of ectopic atrial focke there is an ectopic focke which generates the impulse rapidly firing ectopic focke with rapid conduction through the av node pharmacological av block okay you are blocking the conduction between the atrium and ventricle through adenosine verapamil and beta blocker can help to slow the ventricular rate in most supraventricular arrhythmias except wp w syndrome which is wolf parkinson white syndrome what is this wolf parkinson white syndrome there is an accessory pathway between the atria and the ventricle which is known as the kent bundle this permits both retrograde and antigrade conduction through the accessory pathway this wpw syndrome is characterized by short pr interval and there is a delta wave and the qrs is prolonged and a terminal qrs is normal terminal part is normal although the length is widened the terminal qrs is normal here there is an antigrade conduction over the accessory pathway that is kent pathway which results in a short pr interval less than 0.2 millisecond and there is a slurring of the upstroke of the qrs which is named as a delta wave this short pr interval and delta wave are the all mark of wpw syndrome the individuals with wpw syndrome are predisposed to supraventricular arrhythmias you have to understand that if you treat the supraventricular tachycardia with av nodal blocking drug it paradoxically increases the conduction across the accessory pathway of ken and can cause ventricular fibrillation so you have to be very careful while giving av nodal block in wb w syndrome it might progress to ventricular fibrillation here the treatment is electrical cardioversion particularly if the patient is hemodynamically unstable or you can try ibutilide or procainamide long term management of wpw syndrome typically involves catheter ablation of the recurrent accessory pathway long term anti arrhythmic medication should be continued perioperatively in patient with supraventricular arrhythmias here the continuation of anti arrhythmic agent is very very important in the perioperative 